right before I actually put the ninth day up here again, I want you to look at something real close here. I've put one as new moon, whichever month. They believe that. And we believe that when the new moon comes in, it's the first day of the month. Then you have 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and so on. We believe all that. But remember, when the new moon comes in for them, it starts their whole week off. It's, it starts their whole month off. And we believe that the new moon starts a month off. But their, but their week don't start to the second day. And remember, again, the 29th day ends their week. So if they have a 30th day and a first day of the moon, they don't come in on weeks. They just come in, pop up in days. And this is really, really confusing. Really confusing. This is one reason they can't have seven complete weeks. This is one reason their, their lunar Sabbath won't fit into prophecy. None of Daniel's numbering system. None of the book of Revelation's number system. Of course, all that's in a different in a different message. But the eighth day, you see, I've got an S over there as a Sabbath. Remember this. This is the first work day. This is the work day. Work day, work day, work day, work day. So from two to seven is six days. And then the eighth day would be their seventh day. Starting at 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But it is still the 8th day of the month from right here to here, just like it's the 2nd day, 3rd day, 4th day, 5th day, 6th day, 7th day, and 8th day. So at this first 8 day cycle, you have to deal with the moon or the first new moon of the, of the first month. Right here is number one. Here is the first day of the month. They don't deal with this. Is what I'm trying to tell you. And you'll see as we go on here in just a few minutes. So they don't believe that nobody can work on the new moons. Now I don't know. I can say that I know the restrictions of the new moon. But I do know the restriction of the new moon for the seventh month. It is strict. But I can't say for the other 11 months. I can't say that. But I do know that the new moon is never called a Shabbat. The only time it is called a Shabbaton is in the seventh month. Tishri, in the seventh month that we start where your Feast of Tabernacles are going to be. And then, of course, the tenth day you have Yom Kippurim. Day of Atonement or Yom Kippur. But going back to this, each month again starts off day one, new moon. Day two starts off the work day. First work day. So here's the first work week. And then the second work week or their seventh or their second cycle gonna start off on nine. But why don't they do it this way? Watch what we're fixing to do. They will not do this. 